Hello guys, uh, it's Chris and in this episode of Sample Market Producer Tips and Tricks I would like to show you how to modulate any parameter of any plugins you would like to use uh, through the media effect of Ableton called uh, the expression control. So uh, a starting point of the loop we have these two loops from my um, sample library called Atmospheric Drum and Bass that you can find on the Sample Market website and I've added here a drum pattern using Ableton's very own uh, drum synth. So let's hear the, the actual starting point. So as you can hear in the um, uh, drum pattern, the decay of the drum sound is the same each time the note is triggered. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use the expression control to have subtle modulations on the DK and other parameters of the drum synths in order to have a more natural and interesting feel. So uh, let's use the random function. There are different ways to do this actually using the expression control, but in this very episode, we're going to see, we're gonna have a look at the random function. So I'm gonna map first the hi-hat decay and let's hear how the expression control now is uh, affecting the decay of the hi-hat. Obviously this modulation is too, the exposure, uh, the range of the modulation is too high. So I'm going to reduce the maximum and increase the minimum value to find the sweet spot where um, I'm happy with. Say so it's nice. Uh, and also I'm thinking to modulate actually the attack, obviously using very, very subtle modulation. Because if it's too high, I believe it's gonna sound like a shaker. Nice. So I'm going also to modulate now the snare. Oh, not the tune. Yeah, the potential of this device are incredible, guys. Let's find the sweet spot. And now I'm going to modulate the kick, but usually I wouldn't modulate the DK, maybe in a very subtle way. But mostly I would like to modulate the overdrive, which is something that I tend to do with the drum synth kick. Nice one. I'm thinking if I should modulate like if I should modulate the DK, uh, obviously not too much, like the the attack of the hi hat, because I want not too much variation in the DK of the kick drum being the main element. Let's see. Nice. So um, we went from this to this. Nice, let's see it with the odd loops. Very nice. Obviously, uh, you can add various effects and modulate these using always the expression control. For example, you can use a reverb that is uh, affecting the snare. Let's experiment a bit with it. I think you can achieve really nice results. Obviously the modulation has to be uh, really subtle, but this is, I, I, I truly believe that there's more um, changes and there's more modulation is what make things interesting. 
I think that's the secret to um, making good uh, electronic music. So let me find uh, an impulse response that I am happy with. I think this could be nice. <laughs> Maybe now, maybe let's use a normal reverb actually. Uh, I don't want to lose too much time. And a very short decay. Uh, maybe I can use it like this as a starting point for the snare to have a room. Which is definitely nice. And what I can do with random is uh, to modulate maybe the dry wet shortly so I can do a little modulation like this and also I can load another expression control and modulate the um, the decay of the of the reverb why not obviously don't use very long tails guys that I, I wouldn't suggest that but obviously you're free to do whatever you want to do um, let's hear it so the dry wet is is too much why is so okay? Yeah, makes sense. Very nice, very interesting. So now I've added a uh, I've written before starting to record the video a uh, three or three pattern. Um, to have a bit more uh, context and uh, to complement these uh, two loops. Uh, let's hear it. Nice. So let's add some uh, modulations to the parameters of the 303 as well. Let's add some random functions. And I guess we go with the cutoff and resonance as a starting point for sure. So another interesting function of the expression control. I mean, this is a really nice modulation. It sounds some kind of sample and hold modulation as you have different values each time the node is triggered. As you can hear, the modulation is very um, fast. Is changing each time the note is triggered, and we can use the rise and fall to have a bit more smooth and kind of a human feel, which I don't mind actually. So let's increase the parameters of the rise and fall, and let's hear the result. Nice. Uh, let's map the envelope to. And let's modulate also the other parameters to see um, what is the audio result. Really nice. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope to see you soon in the um, next episode of Sample Market Producer Tips and Tricks. Ciao guys.